Welcome to Wedgetail Bikes. This induction will take you through the general use of your bike. If you have any questions following this, please email us, and we will be happy to assist. To start your bike, hold down on the middle button for a few seconds until the display lights up. To start the front light, hold the top button down for a few seconds. Do this again to switch it off. To go up or down in assistance level, use the up or down keys on the display. If you are using the bike for deliveries, the ideal setting is on 2 or 3 as this will give you the perfect balance of support and distance. Your rear light is recharged using a USB cable. It is attached to the bike via a rubber band. When reinstalling it, make sure the band goes below the cable. To switch this light on, press and hold the button on the light. To switch it off, do the same thing. Your bike may come with an immobilizer. To activate this, press the lock icon. This will not allow the bike to be turned on, and also activates the alarm. Do not rely on this as a deterrent, as would-be thieves can still cycle away with your bike. To deactivate and turn on the bike, press the open lock icon on the immobilizer followed by three presses of the lightning bolt icon, which will now allow the bike to be turned on. To remove the battery, insert the key, turn it, and pull the battery lever like so. To insert, put the bottom of the battery in first then push the top in. Do not let water get into the battery area, as it may short-circuit the bike. Never store your key on the bike, as it will get stolen. Your bike uses a lithium-ion battery. Do not exceed 6 hours charging time, as this deteriorates the battery giving you less mileage. Do not leave the battery charging for longer than 6 hours. Your bike uses a combination lock. Do not share your code with anyone, or try to change it, as it is connected to the serial number of your bike. Never lock your bike from the front wheel. Always lock the frame to something as thieves can lift and walk away with the bike. When storing the lock, always store it, with the code facing down so people cannot read it. If you are riding in the wet, Ensure the display is covered with a plastic sheet to prevent water ingress. Ensure the battery flap is closed. For any maintenance issues, take your bike to the Bike Doctor located at 976 Hay Street in Perth. Any mechanical issues are covered as part of your rental agreement. We do not cover punctures, so ensure you stick to the pavement or road to minimize punctures. If you are intending to keep the bike for a few months, you might consider inserting tire sealant into the tires which reduces the probability of punctures. The bike doctor can help with this. Do not try to modify any settings on the bike as this will violate your agreement and impact your deposit. Your bike comes with new brake pads. When these pads are worn your brakes will make a screeching sound when activated. When this happens, please take your bike to the bike doctor to replace the pads. We provide the pads for free, however the customer pays for labor. Remember to always wear your helmet and proper footwear when riding your bike. Remember when braking to apply both brakes evenly. Always check your bike prior to each ride to ensure it is safe to ride. If you have any concerns, take the bike to the bike doctor. Always follow the road rules and stay safe. If you are intending to extend your rental past your initial period, do nothing and you will receive a notification from us at the end of your rental period. If you are going to give back the bike, please let us know in the last week. Thanks for your time and happy riding.